Someone asked recently what my least favorite part of hiking was, and I said hiking. And I was joking in some sense, but in a reality, it's not that I don't like hiking, it's just the least favorite part, unless we're talking about boulder scrambles, in which I'm an absolute lover of boulder scrambles. Now, what I do love every time, every day of hiking, is the process. The process includes locating a tent site, finding a level spot, pitching the tent, building your nest, unloading your pack and putting everything in it, cooking dinner, hanging your food in a tree, identifying a tree that'll work as a bear bag hang, going to sleep in a tent, my most favorite thing to do, probably because I'm exhausted at the end of the day, getting up in the morning, putting it all in reverse, having breakfast, um, getting, your, getting your food bag down, having breakfast, and then of course, packing up your pack and taking down your tent and getting ready to hike. That's the process. I like the camping life. I like the social life too, but I also love the stealth camp. Stealth camp is when you find a spot that's off the beaten path, it's not a designated site, but it's a perfect location for a tent site. I'm gonna show you what I picked tonight. I'm here alone. Standing in front of my tent, I'm looking at that. Beautiful little waterfall. Goes right past the uh, tent, it's a brook. And see if I can get a better angle of what's down there. It's really just a, a nice, soft, easy water flow down there. And what I do with that is I will wash my feet and my legs, fill up my water bottles to handle dinner and breakfast, and uh, be able to leave early in the morning with a full complement of water. The sound of this helps put me to sleep. It is gorgeous. There's my tent. Now, I just set the tent up. Uh, there's nothing in it yet, so I'll take it one step at a time just so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. I've identified a spot. There's a fire ring over there, which means this has been used before. I might or might not have a fire tonight. There was a little bit of rain a little while ago. Uh, I don't know how much luck I would have with a fire, but it's not necessary. I don't have to have a fire, um, but it is nice to have. And if somebody else shows up and they want one, that's fine too. This location, my tent is actually on a bit of a tilt. And I always put it on a tilt. If, if I can't find a flat location, it's always on a tilt to put my head above my feet. Okay, there is showing it just about level, but uh, the left side is actually higher, just slightly, than the right side. And that means if there is a rain and water comes rushing down here, uh, it'll all, all, and if any water gets in my tent, it'll all go to one corner. And it, that makes it easier to, to mop out in the morning. I use a shamwell cloth to do that. Works very quickly, very easily. Uh, you're still going to pack up your tent with water in it. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to dry it out later in the day. Um, but also, I just like having my head above my feet. I don't like sleeping inverted. I use these sticks to give me a little extra room at the foot and the head of the tent. I just pick up a stick anywhere and uh, turn it into a, a prop to hold the guy line up, okay? Next, I'll use the uh, pump sack to inflate my Neo Air, uh, Thermarest Neo Air uh, sleep pad. And of course, I'll blow up the Thermarest pillow. Now, this particular sleep pad is not the one I started this trail with. I started with the Neo Air x Lite uh, uh, inflatable pad, and the x Lite um, started deflating way back at Damascus, before Damascus. I couldn't get it fixed. I shipped it home. My son sent me this one. This one's probably about six inches longer than the other one, and it's about four or five inches wider, maybe even more. All I know, it is 10 times more comfortable. It weighed about four or five more ounces. It is absolutely worth it. Uh, my son was right when I, I complained about the weight. I said, I don't want to carry anymore. He said, Dad, you're going to love this. I absolutely have slept beautifully on this. My elbows don't fall off the pad when I'm on my back like they did on that yellow pad. And uh, this has a 6.1 R value, so it does an absolute job. Good job of keeping me uh, warm against the cold ground. And uh, so far, very, very happy with this particular pad. 
Uh, the Thermarest pillow was a gift from another hiker when she found out my pillow was also deflating. She just gave me hers, said she wasn't using it. So uh, thank you, Solar and Squeeze, for that. Next, I take my uh, quilt and my sleeping bag liner, which are all both in the same bag, and just throw the whole bag on top of my, my sleep pad. Sometimes I go to sleep, I don't need anything. I absolutely will sleep just bare nothing uh, over me. And then some nights it gets a little colder and I'll pull this out of the bag and, and use it. Uh, I rarely use the sleep liner now because it's just too warm, but it's, it stays in this bag along with the uh, quilt. The quilt's the first thing I can pull out of here. So I'll just throw this on top of the pad. One thing to remember is always keep your tent zipped closed. Let the netting stay as closed for as much time as possible. Don't leave it open. Mosquitoes will get in there and they'll drive you absolutely nuts. You have to get rid of them before you can go to sleep at night. But if I, as I pack stuff into my tent, I open the tent, throw it in there, close the tent. Don't give a mosquito an opportunity to get in there. So right now all that's in there is the pad, the pillow, the stuff sack and the, uh, with the quilt and the uh, pump sack. I leave my dry clothes in the uh, pack along with my puffy unless I think I want to wear it and I just uh, close the pack up and just stick it in the corner of the tent. There's plenty of room in here to be able to just lay the pack in. Also leave out things I may need during the course of the night. Uh, my headlamp, my Gatorade pee bottle and of course my electronic charger over there. It's also my ditty bag with medical and uh, toothpaste kit in it. Uh, that will eventually go into the food bag which I will hang with the uh, uh, food, the bear bag, so I don't want that stuff in the tent at night. I want to be able to put that in the food bag, but I have to wait till after dinner to do that. All that's left now is my raincoat, which I typically put on just to keep the mosquitoes off of me. That's my shamwell cloth laying on the raincoat. I'm going to use that to wash off my legs and feet, and then of course I'll put on the camp shoes. So I'll be taking my shoes and socks off and then going down to the waterfall to get cleaned up. Uh, there's of course my food bag and water. Um, I will replenish uh, my water in the morning after breakfast, so I'll filter again in the morning. But for now, I've got uh, 1.7 liters of water there. So after dinner, uh, I'll hang the food bag, um, and I'll be ready for bed. Now here is the reason I need to take a river bath. All day long, I hike. I get mud on my legs. It's just a fact of life, nothing you can do about it. So you gotta get that off before you go to bed because it just feels disgusting. Plus it doesn't hurt to soak your toes and feet in the ice cold water for a few minutes anyway. I gotta tell you, that water is ice freaking cold. It's gotta be 40 degrees. It is really cold. It feels good, but it is cold. Like I was saying earlier, ShamWow is my utility cloth. I'll use that to clean my legs, my feet. I'll use it to sop up any water that's uh, collected inside the tent after condensation or after a rain. Um, it's, uh, it's a great little utility cloth and uh, uh, I'll wash it and dry it along with the rest of my laundry. I usually pull the insoles out of my shoes so that they can dry out much quicker to dry out your shoes if those insoles are not in there. Uh, I walked in a lot of mud today so I knew they'd be a little bit damp. Go ahead and take them out, let them air out overnight. That'll help shoes dry out as well. I'll take my socks and my gaiters and just hang them in a tree as long as we're not expecting any rain and let them air out as well outside. I'll put these back on in the morning and I'll wear them again tomorrow. After dinner, you hang your bear bag. Good good place for it. Uh, I always look for true blowdowns that didn't completely blow down. That's an easy one right there. It's about uh, eight feet off the ground and it's nowhere near a, uh, a tree that uh, or a trunk that a bear can climb. And I'm a good ways away from my tent which you can see way over there. Probably about 100, 150 feet away. 